Sharath Ritu. It is a season that comes in September to November. This season comes after the rainy season which raises the levels of pitta so that in this season the diseases are very prevalent. So in order to get prevented and not to get major impact on the existing disease, we should follow certain diet pattern and lifestyle. The following diet pattern that should be followed that we have to take the light food and very easily digestible food which are cold in nature. The taste that we have to take are the sweet that is madura tikka astringent kashaya means bitter so the taste that you should avoid is katta salt and tikka the grains that you have to take is wheat rice and barley barley is most recommended and pulses green gram is most recommended and then moong dal the vegetables that you should be taken pumpkin beans methi palak green banana pointed card bottle card bitter card radish carrot beetroot and fruits grapes dates amla custard apple banana spices that you can use is dhania cloves jeera ilachi and oil you should use as ghee it is most recommended and then coconut oil the juices that you can take is coconut tender coconut amla grapes sugar cane sugar water honey water and for drinking purpose always well water the food that you should avoid is oil foods hot foods curd meat fish pork and strong alcohol and you should not ever eat for your full of your stomach then lifestyle that you have to follow just wear light colored dresses wear pearl ornaments apply chandana to your face places that you can go and you can stay are in the fragrant places where there is beautiful fragrance and you can walk in the open terrace the special feature of this season is hansodak hansodak it is the word that is derived from the fact that the swan drinks only the purest form of water so in sarath ritva the water which gets detoxifies by getting heated up by the fiery rays of the sun during the daytime and during the night it gets cool due to the gentle moonlight this hand soda should be used for drinking bathing and swimming the following lifestyle that you should avoid is avoid sunlight exposure avoid eastern wind exposure and the things that is prohibited is daytime sleeping night awakening and sexual intercourse thank you